Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Summer has flew by, and the holiday season is quickly approaching. The holiday season is the make it or break it season for many companies inside of the stock market. In fact, Black Friday comes from many companies are being in the red. That means they are negative. They are not making any money at all. To be in the black, black means you are now a profitable business. You are now making money for that season. So that's where the term Black Friday comes up. So I'm going to bring you guys the top seven stocks that you should keep your eye on during this holiday season that can help you make some money and take some profits. Now, I'm not saying right now is the best time to buy these stocks, but if you are looking to make some profits on stocks that you already own or if you're planning on holding these companies for the next couple of years and play their earnings calls predicting that they're going to beat their earnings because of the holiday season this is the video to watch i'm going to bring you guys the top seven stocks to watch this holiday season but before we dive into it this video is brought to you by we will sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money and you'll receive up to 15 free stocks valued up to thirty thousand dollars with those 15 free stocks you could keep them inside of the portfolio and decide to use it or you can sell those 15 free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money also I left a link in the description to Moomoo deposit a hundred dollars and you receive many free stocks that way valued up to thirty thousand dollars as well so don't miss out on that opportunity guys both of those links are going to be down in the description but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers here we are on stock number one ticker symbol aapl apple now, Apple is sitting at $150.88 at the recording of this video. Apple is number seven on this list because they have always prepared for the holiday season. They have that WWDC um, summer edition and that fall edition to introduce a lot of new devices that's gonna come out that season. They announced all of their latest releases, the iPhone, the iMac, the iPad, the AirPods. They, really, they announced all of their new devices during the WWDC. And when they have that fall event, it is just in time to spark sales for a Cyber Monday and Black Friday. As you can see here, Apple is down 4.29% on the year. So you could be getting Apple on sale. In fact, over the last holiday season back in 2020, they had a 21% growth over the previous holiday season of around $111 billion in revenue. So they are setting themselves up to sell their phones, their AirPods, their iPads, the Mac, the Everything that they sell is just in time for Cyber Monday and Black Friday when they are pushing out for you to buy gifts for your family. That is what they're doing. So that's why Apple is number seven on my list. This is a great company to hold for the next 10, 15 years. And if you're already holding on to them, they could spike during their next earnings report and you could make a decent profit. Stock number six is PayPal, ticket symbol PYPL. Over the last year, they are down, unfortunately, 57%, but you could see them as being on sale. Now, PayPal, there's gonna be a ton, a ton, an absolutely mass flow of online shopping. And a lot of way that people check out is through the form of PayPal. So every time someone checks out through PayPal, they're gonna make a buck. So if you think Cyber Monday is gonna be as big as you think it is, if you think a lot of people are gonna be buying Christmas presents during this holiday season, then PayPal might be at the top of your list. In fact, it's at the top six of mine. The whole during the holiday season to hopefully it has a quick little spike and us to collect some profit. But I do not mind holding PayPal over the next five to 10 years as I do see growth inside of this company. So that's ticket symbol number six, PayPal. Now coming in at number five is ticket symbol TJX. TJX. <laughs> now, TJX companies, let me tell you guys, if you're one of the ones that had your mom decorate the house for Thanksgiving, decorate the house for Christmas, decorate the house for any of the season, then I'm pretty sure uh, a high percentage of the time they have bought something from this company right here. TJX, in fact, over the last year, they're up while the rest of the market is down. They are up 7.84%, already seeing a spike during this upcoming holiday season. Now, let me tell you what they own. They own TJ Maxx. They also own Home Goods, and they also own Marshall. So whenever you see people decorating their house, getting pots and pans ready for the holiday season, I'm pretty sure they're shopping at Marshall's, getting gifts and our decorations for the house. They're getting new rugs, new carpets. In fact, I just got a new rugs from Home Goods. So, so if a person like me that don't shop a lot is already getting ready for the holiday season, then I could see a, a little growth in that company during this holiday season. So when there's a lot of talk about inflation, these discount stores, not high-end stores like Polo and Ralph Lauren, where you go in and buy 
um, luggage from them. No, these discount stores like Marshall, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods to where you can decorate your house will be beneficial as inflation continue to rise. And that's why they're number five on my list. Now, number four is going to be a double header. I got LUV Southwest Airlines and I got United Airlines. Here we go, United Airlines. So over the last year, United Airlines is down 5.86%. As you guys know, there's a ton of traveling during the Thanksgiving breaks and during the Christmas breaks. In fact, these airlines is already preparing for a crush of demands this holiday season. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that United Airlines have beat their earnings over the most recent quarter. And it's likely that this company will be even more profitable during this holiday travel season. So that's ticker symbol number four, United Airlines and Southwest Airlines. Now coming in at ticker symbol number three is Target and Walmart. Once again, with inflation, there's gonna be a lot of people shopping at Walmart to get their groceries, to get their gifts for the holiday season. Um, over the last year, they are up 4.44% after taking a big um, decline right here earlier in the year, being down 17%. They are now up 4.4%. I do own a couple of shares of Walmart right here. I could plan on taking some profit after the holiday season if I continue to see a rise in the sales and the price and revenue through Walmart. Now, if we scroll down to the analytics, 37 analytics, 73% of them that are saying that Walmart is a strong buy and 27% of them are saying if you already own Walmart, continue to hold on to it. And 0% of them are saying sell Walmart. So 0% of the analytics are saying that Walmart is going to do bad this holiday season. In fact, they're saying if you already own it, continue to own it. And if you don't own it, 73% of the analytics are saying you could buy it. One of the reasons I love Walmart is because they are about to be dividend kings. That means a dividend king is a company that's inside the S&P 500 and increased their dividends for the last 50 years. Every single year for the last 50 years, Walmart has increased their dividends every single year for the last 48 years. So they're just two years off, about a year and a half off from becoming dividend king. So this is another one I plan to hold inside my portfolio for the next couple of years. I could buy, I could sell some at the top if it continue to rise and get back in if it dips again. But Walmart is always going to be inside my portfolio. And this is one of the companies that perform well during a recession. So that's going to move us to the next company, Costco. Here we are on Costco, ticker symbol COST. They are at $523.56. In fact, over the last year, they are down 1.97%. Another company that you could possibly grab at a discount right now that is down 1.97%. On Costco, if you guys don't know, it's a big box retailer. They sell many of their items in bulk at a very discounted price. Once again, trying to beat inflation. Membership at Costco is one of the top in the businesses that has a, a 92.6% six percent renewal rate i mean every time it's time to renew 92.6 percent of their customers renew their membership to shop at costco now costco is likely to generate tremendous sales during this holiday season now with costco being down for the year this could be a great time to grab some shares at a discounted price now analysts expect costco to gain around 14 percent this holiday season putting them at number two on my list which takes us to number one. You guys probably already know what it is, and that is Amazon. So here we are on Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. Amazon is at $93.98. Over the last year, they are down 50%, but you can't spell holiday season without Amazon. A lot of online shopping is gonna be done with this big box Goliath giant right here which is amazon which, which has taken a lot of industries out of their business now, amazon is the biggest e-commerce business on earth there's i mean there's not a lot that i have to explain to you guys if you don't know what amazon is you have been living under a rock but if you're a new investor and you see it's down 50 percent this could be a good opportunity for you to get in as a long-term investor buying them while that price is down because I don't see Amazon going out of business anytime soon. In fact, if we scroll down, 90% of the analysts is saying that Amazon is a strong buy. 90% are saying that Amazon is a strong buy. 8% are saying that it's a hold and 2% are saying that it's a sell. Now me personally could have pulled back some more. Of course it could pull back some more. I'm going to be patient. If it does pull back some more, I'm going to go in and buy up a couple of more shares. But if Amazon could continue to rise, I already have my feet wet in the game and I'm going to collect some of that sweet profit 
during this holiday season. And there we go, dreamers. That is my top seven stocks that you need to keep your eye on this holiday season that, that could set up your portfolio to perform well this upcoming earnings report for 2023. Let me know down in the comment section which one of these seven is your favorite one. I can't wait to see what you guys pick. Or if it's one that I left off this list, let me also know that down in the comment section. But if you'd like to know anytime I buy and sell stocks, I'm gonna leave a link down in the comment section that'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. And inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post my option trades, my day trades, my technical analysis. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day. So if you wanna be a part of a community of traders that wanna be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check out the uh, link down in the comment section. But other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button if you would like to help out this channel. The easiest thing that you could do right now is hit that thumbs up button because that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.